Hello and welcome to this tutorial on baking textures in Blender. Today I'm going to use this procedural raw flesh material available at Blender Market. The idea is to bake this material displacement onto this base mesh. To do that we're going to need an image texture inside of this node editor. You're going to create a new image with any resolution you choose. The higher the resolution, the more detail it's going to have. You can name it whatever you want. And you just leave it in this editor. So we're doing this because if you want to use the EV render engine, the material won't look too good because it's just faking this displacement. So it's just using a bump mat, but the mesh is still spherical. So the idea is to bake this displacement into this image and use that in a displacement modifier. So the texture we want to bake is this one, the one plugged into the displacement. That's plugged into the displacement output. So we want this right here. I'm using the Node Wrangler add-on, which you have to enable right here. And if you do control shift click, you can visualize any of these nodes. And so this, I'm going to disconnect the displacement so you can see it better. This is the texture that we want to bake onto this image. So first of all, you need to have it well unwrapped. So you need to have a good, a good U, oh. so you need to have a good UV unwrap. Now all you have to do is leave this this viewer node connected and go into the baking tab. So it's right here, bake. Normally this combined option is selected, but what we want is this emit. So we're just going to bake the emission coming off of this object. Now all we have to do is select the image texture in the node editor and select the object in the viewport. Now if we hit bake, it's going to take a while. Once the bake is complete, you'll get this image, which you can see in the image editor by selecting it right here. As you can see, the image reflects the displacement. If we visualize the image, we get exactly the same displacement. Now applying this map to our mesh is pretty simple. You just gotta go to the viewport, add a displace modifier, create a new texture, which you can just call displacement. Now you go to the texture tab, select image or movie, and in the image option, select the displacement texture you just baked. Now to make it work, you gotta go to the displacement modifier and choose as the coordinates UV because that's the unwrap that you just apply the texture to and now all you have to do is select an appropriate strength and there you go that's how you bake a texture now in this case if we go to Eevee now we'll have a working displacement in Eevee there you go so thanks for watching and I hope it was useful.